Hey guys, um, today I'm going to show you how I make animated images on Minimalist Baker. Um, they are called GIFs or GIFs, depending on who you ask. I call them GIFs because it's more fun. Um, if you've never seen one, um, I've done a couple on Minimalist Baker before. Um, this being one of them, if I can get it to play here. Yeah, you can see. It just adds a lot of fun character to your photos and kind of puts otherwise plain photos into action, um, really emphasizing the action shot. And the example I'm going to show you how to do today is this one um, where I had my friend Laura um, scooping up the ice cream with a chip. It's super simple. Um, it does require Photoshop. Um, I'm on CS5. Um, I'm not sure which versions don't have it, but I'm pretty sure most of them do. So um, let's get started. Um, the first thing you'll do is open Photoshop and you will go to File, Scripts, Load Files into a Stack, which will allow you to choose which photos um, you want to upload. Um, and I have mine pre selected here because I know. I picked them out from my batches, the ones that made sense as an action shot. And so you're just going to click open. And I select all of them and then hit OK. All right. And so they are all loaded in here. Just going to expand my window here. Um, the first thing that I do is go ahead and resize my image to fit my blog width which was um, 680 pixels. Um, you can also do this at the end but I just find that you can have a better idea of the size. Um, it's just a step I, I like to do in the beginning rather than at the end. So okay so right now you can only see one image obviously and so the next thing you're going to want to do is go up to window and click animation which is going to bring up this little tab right here. Um, sometimes if you open um, the animation tab it will have this view which you can't see the images and I always go down here to this little toggle button and it puts it into frames. Now right now you can't see the frames so what you'll need to do is go to this tab right here on the top right corner and let me move my screen recording button you are going to select make frames from layers. So if you do that you'll see then you can see all of your images there. Um, more than likely it will have loaded your um, images backward so just to confirm that that's what happened. Yeah so we want them to go in the opposite direction um, otherwise it will look like she's going in reverse. So how you do that is very simple. You just go back over to your um, button over here in the top right corner and click reverse frames. And now we have the correct motion. All right, so at this point, if you want to make any adjustments to your photos, um, be it lighting, contrast, um, do it now so it will apply to all of the layers. Sometimes I forget that I still want my photo to look nice even though it will appear in slightly lower quality because that's just kind of the way that you have to save them for the web. But um, I'll just do a couple quick edits here and bring up the uh, brightness a little bit. And as you can see, it's applying it to all the layers, which is nice. And a little saturation to make my strawberry stand out a little bit more. You don't have to go crazy here, just um, you want to fix any imperfections and then enhance your color. Um, one thing you could also do at this point, I'm not going to do it with this photo, but you can add text if you want. Um, This is a recipe for vegan dessert nachos. So you could have a little script here that would play the whole time. However, I don't care to have any text on this one, but just know that it's an option and it can be fun if you wanna alert people to what the recipe is. Um, all right, so at this point, you have your photo in the proper order, you have your photo edited, and you want to then adjust um, 
the lag time between each frame. So this I want to be a pretty quick um, motion. So I select all, I just um, click one, hit shift, and then click the fifth frame. And you can change all of them at once, which is especially helpful if you have a lot of frames. And um, I'll show you what one frame per second looks like, which is actually not as fast as you might think. Um, you also want to click down here and select forever, otherwise it will only play once on your blog or Tumblr, um, and it will stop. So you want it to keep going forever. So once you have that in place, then just hit play. And as you can see, that's really slow. So I'm going to hit stop, select all again, and the point where I want it at is about 0.2 seconds. So let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. I could see what 0.1 looks like, but that might be too quick. Let's see. Oh, that's actually not bad. I think I might do that one. All right, so assuming you don't want to make any other edits to your photos or any other changes, you're done and you're ready to upload it um, or save it for your for your blog. And so you're going to go to save um, for web device web and devices, and you want to save it as a GIF instead of a JPEG, and this will give it that animated um, feature. And it will embed just like any other photo on your blog, except it will have action to it. Um, let's see. I don't think I want to make any other changes here. You want to make sure that your width is correct here. I already adjusted mine earlier. Um, and yeah, it looks like everything else should be good. So I'm just going to hit save and um, it'll save it as a GIF, um, vegan dessert nachos in action. Um, and it takes just a little bit longer than a regular photo, but then you are ready. And you will upload this photo just like any other photo on your blog and just embed it in the back end like normal. And then when you scroll over it, it will um, show up as a little animation. So I'm sure there's other ways to do this. Um, I have watched a couple of other tutorials, but I kind of had to finagle around and figure out my own way to do it, um, especially with editing, adding any text or photo edits or things like that. Um, but it's a super fun way to just add more interest to your blog. Um, yeah, so I hope you learned something, and thanks for watching.